Hi everyone, welcome to the Droidy channel. Today's video will explain to you how to factory reset Android phone before selling. If you are ready to upgrade your Android phone to a new Android phone model and are ready to give up your current Android phone, you may realize that you should securely wipe all data on your Android device before selling the device. Since sensitive information such as contacts, accounts, messages, and photos are stored on your phone, reset Android phone before selling is crucial to protect your privacy and prevent any potential data leakage. In this case, you should start reset Android phone for resale. To achieve the purpose of protecting your personal information, please try the methods in the video with us and we will guide you on how to factory reset Android phone before selling. This video is applicable to mobile phone models including Samsung, Huawei, Xiaomi, OnePulse, Vivo, Oppo, Sony, LG, and HTC. Please be patient and try the methods in the video. Why clear Android phone before selling? The most important purpose is undoubtedly to protect personal data, and your smartphone contains a large amount of sensitive information, including contacts, messages, photos, passwords and account details. Performing a factory reset ensures that all this data is securely removed from the device, minimizing the risk of identity theft or unauthorized access to your personal information. It also prevents identity theft, as personal information such as login credentials and financial details stored on the smartphone can be exploited by malicious individuals if not properly deleted before selling the device. Finally, wipe Android phone to sell is also to provide the new owner with a clean slate so that they can set it up to their liking. How to reset Android phone before selling? Fortunately, it's easy to do. We have summarized several methods for factory reset Android phone before selling that you can try. But before you try it, if you need to transfer data from your Android device to another mobile device, then please complete the data transfer before trying to restore the phone to factory settings. Once the Android phone is reset, the data cannot be recovered. Method 1 is to restore factory settings and settings. If you want to reset phone before selling, then you should first try to factory reset your Android phone within settings. This method is very simple and fast, just click on the corresponding option on the screen to complete. First, please click on the settings of your phone. After entering the settings, find and click on General Management. Find the Reset option on the General Management interface. Click on the Reset option and then find and click on Restore Factory Settings. After confirming the deletion in the new interface, your Android phone will enter the factory reset process. At this point, your Android phone should automatically restart. Please wait patiently for the phone to restart. Once your phone restarts, you'll need to set it up again like a new phone. Method 2 is to restore factory settings in recovery mode. If your Android phone cannot enter settings for some reason, you can also try entering recovery mode, which has a factory reset option. You can use it to factory reset Android phone before selling it. To enter recovery mode, make sure your phone is turned off and then connect it to your computer. Then, make sure your phone is turned off and wait at least 30 seconds. Next, press and hold the volume up button and power button simultaneously until you see the recovery mode screen. In the Android recovery screen, select wipe data slash factory reset using volume buttons and press the power button to confirm. Then, select factory reset using the volume buttons and confirm by selecting the yes option using the volume buttons. This will trigger the reset process, which should only take 2 to 3 seconds to complete. Once completed, it will take you back to the same recovery mode. After that, use the power button to select the reboot system now option. Finally, your phone will open and reboot to the home screen, which will appear as it did when you first opened the phone when you purchased it. You will need to set it up again like a new phone. Method 3 is to use Google to find my device. If your Android device's power button or volume button is unresponsive or stuck and preventing you from entering recovery mode, you can also wipe your Android phone before selling it through the Google Find My Device service. But the prerequisite is that you have a Google account. To perform a factory reset using Google Find My Device, first, you'll need to use your computer to visit google.com slash android slash device manager. In Google Find My Settings you need to log into your Google account. Log into your Google account. Additionally, you need to turn on location on your Android phone and connect to a data network or Wi-Fi. After completing the above steps, please find and confirm your Android phone information on the computer screen. There will be three options on the left side of the computer screen, ring, lock, and erase. The feature we are using today is the wipe feature. The wipe feature will completely erase the information on your Android phone. Next, please click erase device. After clicking, the page will jump and the login interface will appear. At this time, you need to log into your Google account again. Please enter your Google account and password and click confirm. After the login is completed, the page will jump back to the Google Find My Settings page. Here, please click erase device again. Erase device may require you to wait patiently for a while. While waiting for erasure, please note whether your Android phone is preparing or undergoing a reset. After the reset is complete, your Android phone will display the interface you used when you first opened the phone when you purchased it. 
you still need to set it up again like a new phone. Method 4 is to use Samsung's Find My Phone service. If your phone is a Samsung phone, you can also use the free Find My Mobile service provided by Samsung. But the premise is that you must first enable the remote control function of Find My Phone on your phone and your device must be connected to Wi-Fi or mobile network before you can use this function to locate the device. Erase all data on Android phone before selling. If you have fulfilled the requirements, then please follow me step by step to wipe an Android phone before selling. Open a search engine on your computer, type findmemobile.samsung.com in the address bar, and press enter. Then log in to your Samsung account on the web login page. After logging in, your device information will be displayed in the upper left corner of your computer display. Please check whether your device information is correct on your computer. If it's not the phone you need to reset to factory settings, find and select the Android phone you need to reset in the upper left corner. Find and click delete data in the functional area in the upper right corner. You may be asked to verify your identity. If so, a pop-up box will appear asking you to enter a verification code that has been sent to your Samsung phone or tablet. Enter the code and click verify. After verifying your identity, click wipe data again to continue. If you don't receive a code, you can choose to verify it through another method. Click verify by SMS or verify by backup code. Please follow the prompts to complete all steps. Once completed, your Samsung phone will begin the reset process. Your Samsung phone will automatically return to the home screen, and all screen locks on your phone, including pattern locks, pins, passwords, and biometric information, will be deleted. It will be displayed in the same interface as when you first opened the phone when you purchased it. You will need to set it up again like a new phone. Method 5 is to seek professional help. The above is the method to wipe Android phone data and settings before selling. I believe there will be a method you like. If you are still unable to factory reset your phone after trying all the above methods, then you may need to take your phone to an official service center and let a technician help you check and reset it to factory settings. That's it for today's video. If you think this video is helpful to you and think we did a good job, please like and share it and tell us which method helped you solve the problem in the message area. At the same time, if you think there is anything we need to improve, you can also express your opinions and suggestions in the message area. Thanks. Good luck.